a common feature in uh, the UX and the grid components is to put a button uh, on the component that uh, prints out a report. So you can see here we have a really simple UX component and we have a button here that uh, uh, prints a report. So when we click this button basically the PDF file gets uh, uh, created, the PDF report gets created and gets shown in a window. But what if instead of uh, displaying the uh, uh, report in a pop-up window you want to uh, send the report as uh, an email attachment so let's go now and show how this can easily be done so let's go back to uh, design mode and first let's take a look at this uh, button that printed the report so here you go you can see it's just done using action JavaScript and we've chosen the action to uh, print a report and show it in a uh, pop-up window so let's go now to this uh, next uh, button here which uh, emails the report and we can see that this uh, button performs the exact same action it does the open report label or letter uh, action but here for the target instead of specifying a window which we did for the previous uh, case we've specified xbasic function so when you choose xbasic function you get prompted for the name of the xbasic function that's going to get called after the report has been printed and you get also you also get prompted for the ID of a div where the progress messages will be displayed so we're going to choose xbasic here and then for xbasic function we can just click the smart field specify the name of the function that we want and then if we click this show function prototype we can see we get a whole lot of help here that tells us exactly what we can do inside this function so we're going to just copy this to the clipboard click OK and then specify message 1 as the uh, div where the progress message will be shown so if we look here we can see we've got a static text control and we've got uh, message 1 in that static text control so now we're going to go to X basic functions and we're going to just um, paste that uh, code in and then uncomment the necessary pieces so you can see how we have the code that's been commented in and what I'm going to do now is actually put in a uh, debug one so we can actually debug into the code but before we actually run it let me just uh, run through some key points here so inside the E object that gets passed into our uh, callback handler there's a property called file session key so this is the uh, key in session storage where the binary data for the report that was just printed has been stored so in order to extract that binary data we just uh, dim BSB and then we call the session dot get data from file method and we pass in the key value so basically this is going to give us the P the binary data for the PDF file that was just created then we just do some error checking here to see if in fact we got any data back if we didn't if the binary uh, variable size is zero then there was an error then uh, inside our uh, um, Ajax callback event handler we've got data we've got access to all the data that was submitted so one of the fields on my component was called Zen2 and you can see here I'm basically setting the send to method to the value that was submitted we're going to be using the email send mandrel command so that uh, we're using the mandrel email service so in order to use this you need to have a secret key that you get from mandrel and you can get that if you don't currently have that by going to mandrel.com and uh, signing up uh, for the key now you can either specify the key directly in this function or if you leave this key here blank you can specify the key in your project properties and that's a good idea because then you can specify the key in one place for your entire project so let's pause now and pick this up in the next video so let's continue now uh, with our video on how to send a report via email so you can see that we've set the send to address now to the value that was submitted we've hard coded the from address and we've also hard coded the subject um, but of course uh, this could also be uh, picked up from data that was submitted uh, when the button was uh, pressed now um, 
the documentation on how to use the mandrel function is available in the release notes. So if you go help view release notes, you can see it. But you'll see here that we're basically going to specify an attachment. We're going to specify only one attachment. We could do multiple attachments. We're going to give the attachment a name. So there's report1.pdf. Then we're going to call a, um, a built-in function in uh, XBasic called resolve mime type, which gives a mime type for a specific file type. And then we're going to do uh, base64 encoding on the binary data. So this this uh, uh, variable b here represents the binary data for the PDF file that was created, and then that we then retrieved from session storage over there. And then finally, we're going to go here and we're going to call the email send mandrel function. And uh, uh, my secret key in this particular case is blank, which means it's going to be picked up from project properties. And then we pass in all of our settings over here. And then uh, p result is going to give us um, um, a result back from Mandrel telling us whether, not whether the report, whether the email itself was actually sent by Mandrel, because uh, that's not yet available. Um, but it's going to tell us whether um, uh, there were any errors uh, when we submitted the data uh, to Mandrel. So, um, so here we have our response, and then since we just need to send the response back, we set the uh, function name to the uh, JavaScript that we'd like to send back to the client. So let's go ahead now and uh, run this. So we'll go over to uh, Live Preview and uh, preview this. And now go ahead now and say email report. So then you can see that the report prints and now uh, the debugger opens up because we have a debug one statement. So there we go. So there's the key now. You can see there's the key uh, inside uh, session storage. So now we've gone ahead now and retrieved the binary data. So in fact, we have uh, 28K of binary data here. So uh, e dot data submitted is uh, that's the address that was submitted from the client. So we can go ahead here. You can see that um, um, we can go ahead now and send that. So there's p result and error is equal to false. So we'll just go ahead and run that. So here's our uh, alert telling us that the mess that the report was sent. And now if I go to my email inbox here. I can see here's my email sent from the UX component. There's my attachment over there. And if I open up the attachment, I can see that uh, I've got the uh, report that was sent. So what we've shown over here is how you can easily, instead of printing the report uh, to the screen, send the report as an email attachment. Thanks very much for watching.